what is up guys welcome back to the channel again welcome back to a new vlog ladies and gentlemen so today we bring you a load that we're gonna be picking up here in uh homestead florida look at the goblin right there looking all nice all neat uh she's a little dirty she could she could she could get a wash now but i mean as you guys can tell it's not it's not too uh too sunny out it's a little, it's a little cloudy but anyways we are gonna go ahead and back into door five now. Hopefully our tanks uh, clear this. I don't know if you guys can turn out, but there's like a big thing like that going down. We have to park in door five. We got a blind side in because we are facing in that way. Should be easy because we have plenty of space. Should be. Um, so yeah, I mean, this load is going to Terrell, Texas. My favorite place in Texas. You guys know that I've been to that uh, Terrell walmart and i had an issue there a while back so this time around i'm gonna do the same thing i always do after that issue is make sure that everything is right so we don't have any other issues at all i'm wearing uh my boys 615 shirt man it makes me feel good you get me I gotta rep other people as well gotta support others as well uh so yeah let me set you guys down somewhere and let's let's get to a uh, recording so we can see how this trip goes You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. Ain't it twisted? You can give it with the evil for you. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. I got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh, everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead. Always sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions, I wish you loved me like I love you. It's stupid. When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so useless. I feel diluted. My heart's been wounded. Silhouettes of you are like a dawn. Never really noticed what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Bye. 
last night we made it here to the rest area in Alabama. We got up this morning. We uh, did our preacher inspection as soon as possible and as fast as possible. It actually slowed down a bit now, but it was pouring a little while ago. <coughs> it's like 1.30, almost 2 o'clock now. We have quite a while to go. Let's see how that tunnel in Alabama takes us or treats us, but, but, uh, better said. We are going to be stopping in Alabama an hour. I have uh, Mississippi an hour. And about like two hours and like 10 minutes to reach Glostede. We're gonna stop, we're gonna be stopping there in Glostede to pump fuel and uh, I guess have lunch and then after that, lunch, dinner, and then after that, I keep going to see how fast I can make it there. I'm planning to get into my destination. Uh, shit, I have clo closer to the 10, 11 o'clock mark at night, so. Let's see how that goes. Hopefully we get there without any issues at all. And uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's hold this. Let's see how the rest of this trip takes us. It is still pouring, guys. Look at this. I just made it into Louisiana and look at this. Pouring, 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 pouring. I'm going 42 miles per hour. drive slow and be safe than not uh, going fast and being at a high risk of having an accident or something you know just a quick update for you guys I am currently 41 miles away from Terrell Texas man it's getting late at night now and check out uh, all the traffic Plenty of traffic still moving around. I guess due to the, the holidays and stuff like that, you know. Plenty of cars behind me. A few cars and trucks in front of me. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and stop at the QT. Hopefully, I can find a spot there and then relax to my appointment time and then go inside the the Walmart. From the QT to the Walmart, I think it's like two miles. Or something like that. So, yo. Those are rest area here, look. There should be spots open in the QT. The good thing is, with, across the street from the QT, there's a. What do you call this, John? Uh, the Waffle House. Right? You guys know I like the Waffle House. So, we'll probably go there and have dinner there and uh, call it a night. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Just wanted to uh, update you guys. I got the VIP door here in uh, Walmart, the DC in Terrell. They gave me that VIP door, you know. Not a lot of guys know about that. You come in here, you ask for that. You be like, hey man, I want the VIP door. You pay, you pay uh, an extra few bucks, and they give it to you. <laughs> I'm just talking shit, man. <laughs> no, but I did get, I actually got a good door. It's actually the first time I get this door here. Uh, door 301 is the closest door they have to the shipping office, which is right there. Like I said, at NBAP, I'm just talking crap, but. It is. Damn, I need your gloves. It is the closest door. You know what? My low locks are up there, but let them take it. Let them take it, take it out. Oh man, tired. I need some sleep. Now my broom, I'm gonna take out my broom. Cause I don't want them to, to leave my broom behind. It's my witch broom. I'll leave that right here. My low locks all the way up there. I came up with this thing so I can hang my low locks, but in this load in particular, even if I have my low locks hanged, they still will bother. They still will bother unless I, I unless I come up with something where I can hang them 
across the trailer going yeah going forward because what I did um, they're gonna hang down but we'll see does this open here yeah it does good deal anyways same process let's pull let's pull this thing back let's disconnect let's chalk our wheels and uh call it a morning so they call me look at all the way to the back I got double stack, I got triple stacks, I got everything. Ooh, the bloom lights. Them blue lights looking good. Ooh. So check this out. <laughs> For the ones that are always telling me, oh, that the Walmart's quit, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I've been in door parks since 3 in the morning. I just got up now. It's 7.50 in the morning. I just got up now. I turned off the reefer because I went back there and the truck, the load is, you know, the truck is unloaded already. And the reefer is just there running, you know. I hate that shit because they should tell you, yo, turn the reefer off, cut it off don't have it running for no reason but they don't tell you no warehouse t tells you they don't come out to tell you nothing so you're just there running a reefer for no freaking um for no freaking reason but anyways so i've been in door park since three in the morning right we are closer to the eight in the morning mark that means five hours later and we are still here this walmart in particular it's here I, every time I come it always takes me a while to get unloaded the last time I was here I was super surprised because it only took it only took him an hour to unload me but here it's almost eight o'clock in the morning I just went inside and she said that it's still gonna it's still gonna be another 30 minutes because they're checking the product so imagine but what I wanted to show you guys check this out look how foggy it is. There is crazy, crazy fog. Um, I cannot drive like this. Not that you can't drive, you could drive. It's just that you can't get far enough or you can't drive as fast. You gotta take extra precautions because also your visibility ain't that far from here, from where we're at, to that red truck that is probably, where that line is at, the best you can see. And I wanna say there's probably two, two, you know, two green goblins lined up, one in back of the other. So that's not a lot, so. Uh, Hopefully the day starts to come up and all this starts to get better. I'm gonna go ahead now and start the truck, let it warm up because it is cold, it's like 50, 50 degrees. Um, that way once it's warmed up, I'm gonna back it up, lock everything in place, and then just shut it right back down and wait for them to, wait for them to, uh, To, to call me for my paperwork so we'll see hopefully it doesn't take him forever i want to get down home down home i want to get down to the valley to see if i can load up to the, tonight but i doubt it it's a saturday night i doubt that tonight's gonna be the night for that most likely i'm gonna have to stay there and uh wait till monday so we'll see all right so we're leaving now uh the sun just came out completely and the fog, the fogginess is starting to go away, thank God. Because the last thing we want to do is deal with that going down the road. Um, yeah, we have 524 miles to go to our destination. So let's go for it. I don't think, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to load today. But at least I just want to be down there relaxing. And then we'll wait till Monday. And we'll go from there. Tomorrow, Sunday, what we'll do is, if we don't find a load, we'll just we'll just edit videos. And I am super, super behind on my videos. So we'll just edit videos and upload them. That way they can be at least ready. So, uh, yep, let's go for it. The usual, you know, the Austin, Texas traffic. Doesn't matter what time you go through here, 
There's always a little traffic. <laughs>